president of the Ghana Teachers Union, Dr. Mark Light, on Friday held a panel discussion focused on economic and professional challenges teachers nationwide face. Dr. Light said many times teachers do not cry out because they are told that they are part of a noble profession. So we are here today because for the last four years, the last four years, the members of the teaching fraternity in Diana have been asking, have been making that request, making that demand that our, that our salaries must be addressed. Dr. Light said for the past two years, the union has witnessed a masquerade ball on the part of the government. Promises that are not delivered. Promises that are not forthcoming in the near future. And the constant appeal that better days lie ahead. And we have reached a point where we are saying enough is enough. One of the panelists, Mahelai McCalmont, a home manager, said our monthly take-home salary is less than $200,000. And after covering her expenses, she goes into depression because her salary has been depleted. The teachers have been putting ourselves out there um, to do additional jobs only because we cannot survive on the meager salaries we're receiving. Meanwhile, teacher Fenton Williams, who spoke on how the meager salary affects teachers in the interland regions, said the cost of living in the region where he lives is extremely high. And many of us in the hinterland areas, we do odd jobs or we do side jobs just to make ends meet as well. Just to make ends meet. For me, being a teacher, I have... I have to work taxi. I do taxi. I work taxi during the night just to make ends meet for my family. You know, I have I have children going to school. Teachers on Wednesday took a break from the picket line while Tuesday's conciliation talks between the Ghana Teachers Union, GTU, and the Ministry of Education ended on Tuesday without any agreement on the way forward. One, no victimization, loss of service, transfers or demotions upon resumption of duties. Two, an interim 20% across the board payment to be made immediately. Three, negotiations to commence within 72 hours of resumption and take place over a six week period. Four, establishment of an arbitration tribunal if negotiations fail within the stipulated period. Five, recusal of the Ministry of Labor from the negotiation process due to perceived lack of integrity and impartiality. Tiana Co reporting for the HGP Night News.